In this video we're going to make some water and we're going to swim in it. So first we need to make the appearance of water. So assets, import package, water basic, import. And then here in assets it will have made a folder, uh, standard assets, water basic. And there's something in there called daylight, so click and drag. And we need to put this guy at 0, 0, 0. And it's too small, so we'll put it the scale to a thousand and a thousand. So now I've got a big, big disk of water there. Though you may notice that when, see the water's there, but when we go into it, we look up, it's gone. And that's because every, everything in a 3D program has a normal. Say this, this rock cube here, when I go into it, I no longer see the edges because every face faces a direction. It's called a normal. So this water normal is facing up. So what we could do is we can copy it. So click on the water, control C, control V, or edit copy, edit paste. So now we have two, and I just want to rotate it, right? Rotate it around the other way so that it's upside down. You can actually just change the number here to 180, so it's exactly right. Now when we look from the bottom, we've got two. But again, if we go in, so we can still just jump around, walk around normally, and you can see really far. So it's not very water-like, despite the uh, giant fish. Um, so we're going to work on that. Go into Assets. If you don't have the folder Scripts, right-click, Create Folder, call it Scripts. Go into that. And, you know, somewhere in here, create, um, right-click, create C-sharp script, call it Swimmer, and double-click that to open it up. So from here you can go Render Settings and just Fog is False, so just turn it off. And then Render Settings, the Fog Color, so if we do want Fog, the Water Color Fog, we're going to make a new color. The way you make a color is it says here we got to give it a float R, G, B, and A. R is for red, so we're going to make it just a little red. For green, a little bit more green. And for blue, we're going to make it very blue. These numbers are from 0 to 1. And transparent, I guess, just half. Okay. And finally, render settings dot fog density is not really that dense. I just kind of played around and found a decent number. Let's go with 4. And now what we need to do is check if we're underwater. So we're going to make a new function. It's going to give us bool for yes or no. Is underwater. This will return if our game object, our self, our position, our y position is less than zero. Oops. So back here our player right now is at our player right now is at 7 y is 7 roughly and when it goes below 0 it'll be considered underwater because our water is at 0 so up here in an update update happens every frame every time there's a new picture on the screen we're going to say render settings dot fog so we could do fog is true or fog is false, but we want to change it depending on, I don't know, if we're underwater, like that. So this is going to go here and evaluate this, and it'll give us true or false depending on if we're underwater. So if we save that, we're going to have to also add components swimmer to our player, and when we press play, now there's some some blue fog in the distance so that's not bad that's actually that's it for the water appearance so now we're gonna make it swim because see I'm just jumping around like nothing we're gonna do two things 
When we're underwater, we're going to change these numbers. So our max forward speed, our max fall speed is going to be slow and sluggish. The other thing will be like the jetpack video. So when you press shift, we'll go up a little bit. So just like the jetpack video, we're going to need access to the character motor and character controller right here, these two. So we're going to get character controller, we're going to call it CC. So we will have a container of type character controller. We also want another variable or container of type character motor called CM. And when we start, so just once, we're going to do, we're going to get the components of type character controller. And same thing for CM. Character motor. So now anywhere in our code, we can use CC and CM to get, uh, for CC, we'll get our speed information and for CM, we'll change our behavior. So in update, we're going to say if is underwater. So right here, it's going to say, are we underwater? Yes, it'll do this. No, it'll do that. So yes, if we are underwater, so here we will set our movement, our max uh, forward speed will be two. Our max sideways speed will be two. And our max uh, backwards is the other one is two. There's also falling max fall speed is two. <laughs> Just those numbers should be okay. We'll save that. Press play. Hop in. And now we're going a lot slower. It's different. And we're kind of sluggish. That's good. But we can still jump pretty fast. And I can't actually jump in the air. So that's a problem. Um, also, if we were to leave the water, we're not changing these back. So you're going to copy these. And these numbers can go back to really anything you want. But if you check what the defaults are here, 12, 9, 9, uh, 20. It's something like that. So uh, forward is 12, sideways is 9, backwards is 9, and fall is 20. That's if we get out of water. Uh, but there's also the, the jumping. And well, we'll just do the jetpack. So if we're underwater, we only want to do the jetpack if we're underwater. Um, the jetpack like my other video. So if input dot get key, if we're just pressing the, the, the key, uh, it'll be left shift. So if we're pressing left shift, then I want our, we want to set our velocity just as like the jetpack video. So we're going to use our the same x velocity will be our x velocity, but we're going to go up by three and our z velocity is going to be the same as our z velocity so we're only changing y to go up and we're going to save that now when we go in when we press shift we can go up and we can potentially get out of the water i also like to disable uh, jumping so cm dot jumping dot enabled is equal to um, we want to be able to jump if we're not underwater so exclamation is not so is underwater so enabled is not is underwater so if we're underwater this will be true it'll be not true so that's false so it'll be off so that's it really. Um, a few things you could consider doing is see here every frame we're changing these. What you could do is you could check did we just go underwater? So you'd keep track of the last value for this and you'd only do this if it changes. Uh, you could add bubbles to your face if you're underwater. Um, you could make a, a water texture go over the whole screen. Uh, but this is the, the basic swimming thing.